All right, guys, I'm going to attempt to share with you the watch crystal press that I ended up landing on. And you can see I have two of them here, and that's because I'm going to end up giving this one away. This is the one I've been using over here on the left. Um, I've done, I don't know how many different crystal presses into typically SKX cases. I, I can't remember if I've done any turtles, but I've had a really good success rate with both the aftermarket cases and the stock OEM Seiko cases uh, with Sapphire Crystal installs. Uh, partly because I think everything kind of stays, for the most part, square. You still have to be slightly cautious, um, but it's not as bad as these guys here where it seems like you kind of got to spin it, spin it, spin it, you know, the, the watch and make sure and really keep a close eye on it. This was even a better version of the first one that I used. This one's still not bad. You can actually hard screw it down to a a bench or something and really get some pressure on it but you have to like squeeze down on it um, and that's maybe not the best way at least for me my success has been greatly improved using these red guys there's a bunch of different brand names um, but I think they're pretty much all no name there's I'm sure they're coming out of one factory and everybody's just buying them in bulk and then selling them as their brand um, this guy here, you can see I still have it fitted. I typically remove the crystals or hard legs or whatever with this guy. So I still keep this one set up. It's nice to have for removing. Um, and then these guys I pretty much use for pressing the crystals, which I haven't been modding too much lately, guys. But um, I know you want to see more. So, uh, so this is the way it comes. You can see I already have this one set up for pressing. I guess... If I had a complaint, I'm a little unclear. It's got to be something to do with the way they just, the pr production of it. They prefer doing it this way. Um, you know, with this being cantilevered over, it, it could be subject to bending or at least torquing a little out of shape. Um, I think this is not too far off from this these posts here. So when you torque it, I mean, it, this whole thing could pivot. So this could pivot down and this could pivot up. So I still kind of like do my initial set and then spin and then set again and make sure the crystal is as square as possible into the case. Um, but you can see for the most part, it's pretty heavy construction. It's thicker aluminum. And then you have these uh, bars here. And this came already, I mean, this I just pulled it out of the bag and it already has a bunch of weird marks on it and everything. So, I mean, all this stuff is just produced in mass quantities. So it comes with these blanks on here. I'm sure you could potentially use them for something. I'm not sure, but they're just aluminum blocks. And then it comes with a, so there's these screw posts are in there. Those are mounted good. Comes with this bag of assorted different uh, nylon dies. So go ahead and you'll pretty much only use a few different ones. They are numbered. It's hard to see. It's in the uh, it's in the mold, so you can see pretty much what I have there. But when you're so when you're doing it, basically you want to find um, one that's really close to the same size without going too far over. I mean, you could go with that guy, um, or you could go with this guy right there. Might work best. Either one. And you can see these ones are even different than the first one. I The plastic compound, you can see it's a little bit different compound, whatever the case is. So, But this should be the same die right here that I've been using. And I actually pressed in with the 31, so maybe I'll probably do it with this guy here. So you go ahead and put this one on top. You just... Kind of line it up, screw it down. And then what I do on the bottom plate, and everybody's going to have their own method, but I think this is the same one I use. I like to put the crystal case back, or the uh, case back onto the watch. Um, and it kind of just helps it stay centered in that plate, I think, a little bit better. So go ahead and screw that guy down. Now, um, you're supposed to wear a little... Uh, finger rubber things here, whatever you call these. I don't, I need to buy some new ones, but these ones are well used. So anyway, we're not gonna use those. So um, you're supposed to not really touch the crystal too much. Helps from getting marred up. 
But so what you want to do is you want to get your uh, you make sure you put your chapter ring in there and line that guy up. I mean, this isn't really a tutorial on how to do the crystal press, I guess, but then you need a crystal gasket, which where are my crystal gaskets? Somewhere around here. And there's varying qualities of them and stuff, so you're gonna find yourself a nice gasket. Preferably a brand new gasket, but you can use you can reuse them sometimes. So let me get this situated. So you just go ahead and set that gasket in that inner ring in there. And then you go ahead and, I mean, there's tons of written and video tutorials on how to do this, guys. I'm just kind of more or less showing you the crystal press. So, and then you go ahead and screw this down and hopefully so that first little bit it's just it's going to torque down and it's going to go really nice and then I, I what i'd like to do is i like to lift it up and do a little inspection and make sure the gasket's not getting tweaked make sure everything's lining up good and then this is pretty much where i'll do my spin sometimes you sometimes you uh don't have a successful press you know what I mean sometimes you have to pop the crystal back out and redo it I still tend to just kind of spin it typically I don't have I'm not videoing it so usually I'll have my face right down there by it and doing a full inspection of it as it's happening so sometimes they'll make noise when they pop in sometimes they don't so that should be that looks like a clean press so this is the, the first one that this press has done. So, I mean, once you get it in there, it's in there. And then, you know, you can do some water resistance test with this. You got to put the stem and crown in there and put the gasket in the um, case back. And then there's homemade water, you know, water resistant testers you can make. Um, or you can just seal it all up and put it in a glass of water and check it after a certain amount of time and you're going to have pretty good water resistance on it but so as you can see it's a nice good square press so double dome sapphire crystal pressed in just like that so and like legit in the past I've had issues with the other style one you know where you're doing leverage down on it um i've had so many failures like these my success rate i think i've screwed up maybe a couple out of the dozens that i've done so this is just done way way easier way cleaner way more consistent so of course now you got to clean it all up and everything like that usually you try to do it in a little bit cleaner environment but anyway guys i wanted to share that with you um i know i went a little long but um, pretty easy to use you know you can take it apart and service it if you need to i paid 54 dollars for this on ebay i'll put a link in the description i'll put a um, amazon link in the description too but it's a lot more money on amazon it's like 70 there's two of them they're 71 and 76 dollars um, on amazon i'm not really sure why you'd buy it there for that price um, but i'll put those links in the description um, i'll use my affiliate amazon link so i can get credit for it but um really just go buy the 54 dollar ebay one that's what this one is and it you just watch me do it it works fine so that's where to get it and that's how you typically use it um, i'll also use it to press the bezels onto the case which um i'll have to find one but it's the same thing you pretty much put the, the spring clip on there make sure you got a bezel with a gasket in it and you just slowly you get the right die for it and you just kind of snap it on and it works great so um, i've had really good luck with that as well so anyway guys that's my uh video for tonight i wanted to share that with you and i will um comment down below i'm going to pick somebody in the comments randomly and i'll get a hold of you and i will send this press to you with all the dice 
And then uh, in a later video, I'll do a giveaway of this uh, case assembly ready for a turtle kill swap thing. So, but in this video, um, comment down below. Tell me, you know, how and why and when you want to use this. And uh, I'll pick one of you guys and we'll get this sent over to you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next vid.